Stacy again from Tamarack Nature Center in Ramsey County Parks. We're out here in the pines to kick off birds in your neighborhood. This week uh, we want to start off with a little bit of some hints and tips on identifying birds. Because I bet some of you have been wondering what are all these extra birds and they want to find out what some of them are. Well there's some extra birds because that weren't here this winter because a bunch of birds can't find food that they can eat in the winter so they actually migrate to somewhere warmer where they can but there are some birds that have been around all winter long so we have a couple tips and tricks for you to help identify them and we're going to do a little practice run with some stuffed animals to see what you're noticing are you ready first do you hear anything oh i bet some of you I've heard that and a lot of times it's coming from the tippy tops of the trees way up high at the top of a branch. Did you notice? What did you notice about that bird that went by? What color was it? Blue? Yellow? No. It was bright red. Was it the size of your fist or bigger? What other colors were on it? Any? Let's take a closer look. So this is a male cardinal. It's, they stay around all year round and the males are bright and vibrant, especially this time of year. And they're displaying for females a lot of times in the top of trees. So you notice most of their bodies covered in red feathers, but they've also got this black mask and a red thick seed cracking beak. What's going on up here? Bad hair day? No, it's called a crest, not a mohawk, a crest. Birds actually have muscles on their body that can help them move their feathers to make them stand up on end to help display. So this is our male cardinal. Let's show you one other bird that is around all year long that's my favorite. And they make a sound like this. That's kind of a little bit of an alarm call. Maybe you're getting a little bit too close. But that's one of our most common year-round birds, and it's one of my favorites. They're feisty, they're hardy, and they're like this. They don't stop moving. And they nest in holes in trees. What did you see? Was it the same color as the cardinal? No. Was it bigger than the cardinal? No. It was smaller. They can nest, in, and they can go in little cavities and little holes like that. Well, chickadees, this is a stuffed one. It should have a black beak. But they have this black cap of feathers, hence their name, black capped chickadee. They have kind of like this little chin chin going on uh, that's black and they have kind of a white sides of their mask. Tan underbelly and grayish wings and tail. Tail. That's something good to watch for on birds because a lot of times you don't see them until they fly away. They have this stripe at the end, a tail band or terminal band to watch for. Look at their shape. Is the tail long and narrow so they can maneuver? Does it spread out like a fan, like a red-tailed hawk? Or do the edges of the tail feathers have different colors than the middle, like juncos? When they fly, their tails sp spread out and sh sh splashes the white color that you see. So there are lots of things to notice. Now, you're not always going to see them perched in a tree. You might see them fly over, so they might look a little different from under underneath. Here's one little silhouette on the underparts of a chickadee. And you can notice all those normal parts that you would see, but if it was the cardinal, you wouldn't see that crest on the top of their head. So these are just a couple birds and some of the features that you would notice if you could see them up close. Now that the leaves are starting to open up on our deciduous trees, the birds are a whole lot harder to find and see and they're not sitting still because they're trying to find food and insects and mates. So instead, you got to practice listening and practicing those calls. So later this week, on one of our posts, you'll see a link to be able to look up the calls and behavior of some of our local birds. I hope you have a great week and I hope you can get outside and enjoy some of the spring birds and everything else going on outside.